What is up guys, today we are going to install custom firmware on this PS Vita and this is running version 3.73 which is the official the latest um, PS Vita firmware and what we're going to do is we are going to install custom firmware final H Encore version 1.92 and installing this will then give you the ability to run homebrew and play backup PS Vita games as well as emulators and whatnot. This isn't a permanent firmware so once you restart or if the device powers off um, or the battery drains then you're gonna have to go back into the applications and run Henkaku and then enable homebrew but it only it doesn't take that long to do all of that so first thing you want to do is you want to have a memory card inside your PS Vita, any size will do, format it, and then you need to make sure you are uh, up on the latest version to check that go on system information and then you'll see what version you are. If you are not updated then you can update using system update but you also need to connect to a Wi-Fi network once you've done all that that you need to link your PS Vita to the PlayStation network account you can make a backup account just in case you're worried you may have your um, PSN blacklisted or um, deactivated from now like I don't think Sony really care so much about the PS Vita anymore so it might not be such a worry um, you might be just fine using your play your main PlayStation account if not then if you're worried then just make a new account um, I'm just logged in to my account right here so you need to log in do all of that once that's done we need to connect this Vita up to your PC so we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so now we are on the PC and I'm going to show you what files you need. Um, so first thing we want to do is download Final H Encore. Um, this is the link and it will be the first link on the description below. So you need the Win or 7-zip file. So click on that, download it. I've already got it downloaded and I've already unrod the files um, we also need QCMA driver which is the PS Vita USB driver I've already got it installed so install that and then to make things quicker you can also install the content manager here this is from the official PlayStation uh, website so this is the software you need to transfer your data to. So I've already got this installed again, but you can go ahead and prompt through the install here, just like so. Now, but once you've finished installing the content, content manager assistant, we then just need to open Final H Encore. Make sure all the PS Vita drivers are installed and the Content Manager uh, Assistant. So right click, run as administrator, and then this will prompt you with this screen. So now all I need to do is connect my PS Vita into my PC using the USB cable, and then we'll come back to this. Alright, so we're back on the Vita now. So I've connected up to the USB and now I'm going to click on Content Manager and then copy content. And then it'll come up with a list of which ways you want to connect your Vita to. You want to click on PC. Select the method for connecting to the device. You want to go on USB cable. It says this system cannot connect to PC using USB cable. Click OK. You need to open up 
our assistant manager. Okay, if it comes up with an error, just um, give the PS Vita a quick restart. And now we're going to click on USB. That was telling me what I want to do. So we want to connect the PS Vita system to the PC. And then head back onto your desktop. Okay, so I've got final HRN core ready to go and also the content manager. This is where your file defaults are, but you can change this if needs be. We don't need to mess around with any other settings. We can literally just leave that aside. Um, so make sure this is connected to PS Vita and then we just need to press let's go. So this will download all the necessary files for you to then install um, Final H N Core onto your PS Vita. So this may take like a few minutes or so, but let this download all of the necessary files. So once that's done, it, you'll see here everything is ready. Now follow the steps below. So we want to go back to our PS Vita. You see where it says PC to PSV to system, click on that, then applications, then PSV to tick H on core 2, and then copy. The selected content items will be copied to this system, that's what we want, that's okay. Give it a minute or so for it to copy all of the contents. The next step after it was installed, I just unplugged the cable on the PC and then close the application. Now you'll see we have H on Core 2 there but before we open that application we need to press or hold down the R trigger and then start. Now it will prompt you to say you cannot earn trophies in this application. Click yes. So first thing we want to do is install Nkaku. Once it says success, go down and download Vita Shell. Okay, once we've done that, we can now exit. This will pop you back to the main menu. Now under settings, check your settings and we should have a new option called Henkaku. So there's Henkaku settings, select it and then we want to enable unsafe homebrew and then back out. And then you should be able to now install homebrews and play backup games. Um, if the setting isn't there, once you've reset your device, like let's say you go back into it and Henkaku option isn't there, then you do have to go back to H on Core 2. and click yes and we, you need to install Henkaku again every time you reset if this doesn't appear then you need to reset Tai Hen config so reset Tai Hen config come back out and then this should Henkaku should then be there so that is it guys that is how you install um, custom firmware H on Core 2 and as well as downloading Vita Shell. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you guys and if you have any questions then please feel free to comment below. So 
Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again in another tutorial.